Hey everyone, in this Postman video, we are going to discuss few more ways to configure Jenkins job and execute your Postman collection. So previously, when we were learning the Postman collection, we were also looking at different options to execute Postman collection and see, for example, if we open the Postman collection and click on this run or runner, you will see that we have a manual run and we can schedule the run and we can automate the runs via CLI. So if I go to this particular option, you will see that we can execute the Postman collection by logging in with an API key and then running the collection using the collection ID and the environment ID. So the way we set up the Jenkins job to run the Postman collection locally, when we exported the collection on our local machine as a JSON file, and executed it similarly we can set up another job to fetch the collection through the postman cloud okay through the postman api with the api key and then run the collection okay so setting up the job will be absolutely simple we can simply go ahead and copy this command right and now we know that we need to add an api key here so we'll simply go ahead and click on add api key and i'll say generate key and i'll say that this is a jenkins key and generate okay and I'll insert this key in here. So the key has been inserted. Now we'll simply go ahead and copy this whole command. So it will log into the Postman account that we have signed up for. So I have signed up for the Postman account and then all my collections that I'm working here are getting saved into the Postman cloud account. Okay. So now I'll copy this and we'll go to the Jenkins and set up a new job. So we'll simply click on new item here and I will say Okay, Jira API, just let me use this one, Jira API test freestyle Postman API. Okay, this will be another freestyle project. Okay, and then I'll simply click on OK. And now here we'll simply go ahead and go down here in the build steps, we'll say execute Windows batch command. Why? Because I'm on the Windows machine. Okay, so I'll simply paste this command here. So the first one is the login and the second one is actual collection run. All right. Now, that's pretty much it in order to set up this Jenkins job and then you don't have to do anything else, right? So we simply go ahead and apply and save. Okay, so this job has been created. Now from Jenkins itself, I will be able to run this particular collection, right? Now the advantage with this approach is that because you have the Postman account, right? So if I go ahead and do any changes here, right? any updates here in this particular collection, they'll be automatically picked up, right? When we'll save, they'll be automatically picked up because they'll be saved with this particular ID and Postman maintains everything uh, within uh, in the cloud. So with the same ID and everything, it will be able to fetch and run the updated collection as soon as we update and save the collection. The other advantage is that we do not have to basically worry about the version control. For example, externally, if you do not have the Postman account, we have to have the GitHub uh, account to basically manage the code, right? We have to export the JSON collection, collection in the JSON format, then we have to push it into the version control tool. And then we can run it from there or we download that JSON locally and then execute so we'll understand that as well but with this approach we do not have to worry about because uh, worry about any of the version control because postman by itself will provide version control if you have the premium account okay or even with the free account if you if you just have the three users you can still use the version control uh, functionality available right within postman so now we have created the job let's go back here and let's build this particular job so i'll click on build now and it started building so let me open the console and you will see that it has logged in with the key that we have provided and started executing right so in the console you will see the output is being generated so the build has been successfully executed and the other advantage you will see that now because we are running the postman through the postman cloud you will see the re the resultant the data the result data will be automatically run data is automatically updated over the cloud as well we can go to our account and see the run details there as well okay by following this particular link okay so this is briefly you know how you are going to set up the jenkins job freestyle jenkins job and run the postman collection using the postman cli and postman api now if we go ahead and try to run this same thing same, uh, same thing um, with newman then we can basically go ahead and, and create a newman job and then use the newman command to run the collection right so the process 
and everything still remains same it's just different tool to execute okay we have understood about the newman so i would highly recommend going ahead and playing around with the creation of the newman jobs as well and executing so in the last video uh, i was facing some issues with the jobs with the newman job right so it was mostly because of the user so what i have done is i have simply configured the job or i'm moving to the particular folder first and then executing the newman command so that fixed the issue but in the real projects in the actual projects as the test engineer and the test automation architects you guys won't be responsible as such unless until you are setting up everything from scratch there would be a dedicated team to manage your your jenkins server anyways so i simply move to the location where the node package manager is and and where newman command can be found so i've just used the cd and then newman run and this fixed this particular newman job right so if i build it now it will run so you'll see that it is running we'll go to the console output and it has executed that particular command successfully right right so now if you have to set up a new job to run a json or a postman collection using newman so you simply use this command newman run okay whenever you are setting up your jenkins and then provide the postman collection details and you can set up the job that is kind of an assignment for you guys to practice okay so this is about postman cli and newman and setting up these jobs in jenkins now one another very important thing is now we have used this postman api which has used the keys there okay so the api key which is kind of a password and it is not advisable at all to hard code any of the passcode password details into your command okay you will see this is the password right if anyone gets this they can basically log into my account all right so it's always advisable to manage any of the secure keys the passcode username password in a better way within jenkins so how can we do that so we can simply i'll copy this okay and within jenkins we have the option to basically manage the passcode in a much secure way so we'll go to dashboard and then go to manage jenkins and then here you will see within security we have the credential set so within credit credentials you'll see i've already created one of the key I'll, so here uh, i'll remove this one later but usually if you don't have any of the key you will see that you have the global scope so we'll simply click on this global all right and then here we'll simply add credential click on add credential and then in the drop down this is the secret text right so this is just a api key so i'll select secret text and then i'll keep the scope as global and then paste the secret here so whatever key i have copied i'll paste it here right and then provide the id so i'll say postman api all right so simply this particular id will be used to reference this particular secret okay so i'll create this particular postman api key all right and let me go ahead and delete this one okay so i'll go ahead and delete the old one which i created previously so we have just this postman api key all right so now if you have another credential you can basically go ahead and follow the same process to add multiple credentials so for example you are having username and password on and other credentials that you are using in your script uh, jenkins job then you can manage those all credentials here and they'll be securely accessed okay so i've added this here now i'll go ahead and reference this particular secure api key into the job so i'll go to the job here i'll go to configure right and here if you'll scroll down you will see that we have the build environment okay within build environment you have this use secret text or file and in the bindings we'll add the bindings so if, you, if you click on it you will see all the different options so we want to bind this secret text right which you have saved so we'll select secret text and you will see by default whatever secret text that you have stored you will see that it is available in the drop down since we only have one it is showing postman api key there so now i can simply say i'll define a variable so i'll say pm api whatever name you want to specify i'll say pm api key which is postman api key uh, postman underscore api key and then simply go ahead and in order to reference this variable now this particular variable references this credential which holds postman api key right which you have defined in the credential section so now we should be able to use this variable in our script okay so pm underscore api underscore key so how can we reference that now instead of hard coding this value here we will simply go ahead and delete it and reference this 
particular variable that we have defined here which is referencing to this credential now if you are using this windows batch command refer to the particular secret text right the variable within the jenkins you have to use the percentage sign okay so just percentage sign like this to reference the variable but if you are on mac or linux you simply say dollar followed by the variable that you have defined okay so that's what you have to do now because i'm on the windows i'll keep it as percentage followed by the variable that i have defined followed by the percentage okay and then simply go ahead and apply right and once it is saved then we'll go ahead and run this okay so now if i'll go ahead and save and build it so it should actually execute exactly the same way and we should be able to see the console output let's see so you'll see that it is executing now and the advantage here is that you will see that now we don't have the visibility of that key okay so let it finish so it has executed successfully build a success and if i scroll up you will see that the api key is no more visible, right it is not visible here if i go to the job here okay and go to the configure obviously we just have the variable there okay so the secret api secret is no more visible for this command as well right for this command as well so we don't have the api key hard coded here so anybody even if they get access to this particular jenkins job they can't see the secret and even if you go to the dashboard and the build configuration and see the credentials how they are stored so we'll go uh, in manage jenkins and let's see how it is basically stored so if say for example somebody gets access to the credentials and goes and checks the details here right so still they won't be able to see the secret that we have stored in here right so it this secures any of the details that you want to store as a secret right you can simply go ahead and change password but that won't reveal anything okay that won't reveal anything in here for the secret. so this is basically the better approach to manage any of the secrets if you are configuring those secrets into jenkins job okay so that's pretty much all about this particular tutorial on a different way to execute your Jenkins job and then manage the secrets within the Jenkins job as well. In the next video, we will understand how you can fetch the code from the version control. So for example, you have checked in your code into the uh, GitHub, how you can create a job that can fetch the code and then run your Postman collection through the Jenkins job as well. That's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.